I am delighted to convey my compliments and warm wishes to all the voters of India on the occasion of 12th National Voters Day. This day pays a glowing tribute to each and every voter of the country and highlights the immense value of everyone's vote. In many parts of the world, the right to vote was achieved after a long struggle. In India, the right to vote was granted to all adult citizens at the same time when India won her freedom. This right is precious. You must exercise it and exercise it judiciously. Your presence at the polling stations is a source of inspiration. Democracy thrives and flourishes when voters queue up on election day cheerfully waving their epic cards, patiently waiting for their turn to vote. India's election system is one of the best in the world and you, dear voters, are its very heart and soul. This year's NVD is even more special as it marks 70 years of Indian elections and a celebration of 75th year of India's independence. Seven decades ago, the first general election was conducted in the country with 17.3 crore voters. The first election was truly an act of faith with few parallels in the history of humankind. Since then, the Election Commission of India has firmly marched on the path of democracy and together with voters, we have endeavored to deliver elections that are not only free and fair, but also inclusive, accessible, participative and festive. With this sentiment, the theme for NVD 2022 is making our elections inclusive, accessible and participative. Conducting elections in a country as large and as diverse as ours is always a challenging task. As on date, we have over 95.14 crore voters across the country, out of which 49.04 crore are male voters and 46.09 crores are female voters. Amongst these registered voters, there are 1.92 crore senior citizens aged 80 plus, 81.39 lakh persons with disabilities. 19.24 lakh service voters and 1.37 crore newly registered voters. However difficult the situations might be, the voters have always reposed faith in the institution of election commission and they enthusiastically participated in every election. I am happy to share with you some historic electoral reforms that have been affected this year. On the recommendation of election commission of India, Few crucial amendments have been enacted to the representation of the People Act. The first of these amendments facilitates registration for all our young voters four times in the year. Earlier, young voters could be enrolled in the voter list only once, that is on 1st January of the year. Now, with this amendment, any citizen attaining the age of 18 years can be registered on any of these four dates that is on 1st January, 1st April, 1st July and 1st October of a year and can exercise voting rights. Next is linking of voter identity card with Aadhaar which would help in weeding out duplicate entries in the electoral roll and further purify the poll. For the past two years, the impact of COVID-19 made the conduct of elections extremely challenging. We had to conduct elections in a manner that protects both the voters and the vote. We embarked on this arduous journey with the support and confidence of India's 95 crore voters. Elections to six state assembly besides many by-elections were conducted in this period with full health and safety measures in place. Once again, the determined Indian voter with unflinching faith in the democracy defied naysayers and skeptics and came out in ever large numbers to vote in all elections held during the pandemic. This Voters Day, we salute each and every one of you. The Commission interacted with global election community on the protocols for conducting elections during pandemic. India is the chair of Association of World Election Bodies, which has members from 108 countries. Many webinars and international virtual election visitors program 
were organized in order to share our best practices and initiative with the world. More than 100 capacity building programs have been organized so far by Election Commission of India for nearly 2,000 international participants, especially from the new and emerging democracies of the world. We truly believe that it is the equal participation of all categories of voters that makes elections meaningful. ECI provides special facilitation for women, persons with disabilities and senior citizens for a comfortable and pleasant voting experience. The Commission has brought polling stations to the doorstep of voters and the option of postal ballot facility has been extended to all those voters who are senior citizens, aged 80 plus, persons with disability and those who are COVID affected. The Commission has leveraged technology to enhance transparency and make election services more voter friendly and easily accessible with apps like Voter Helpline. Another one is C-Vigil, which ensures swift action in case of violation of Model Code of Conduct. The latest one is Know Your Candidate app, which provides voters with information about candidates, including the criminal antecedents to enable voters to make an informed choice. Recently, general elections for legislative assemblies of Goa, Manipur, Punjab, Uttarakhand and Uttar Pradesh were announced. Elections are being conducted in 690 assembly constituencies, reaching out to 18.34 crore voters at more than 2.15 lakh polling stations. We are also looking forward to welcoming 25 lakh new voters in these states who will cast their votes for the first time. Keeping the ever dynamic situation in view, <coughs> the Commission has issued stringent guidelines to be followed by all political parties and candidates. We also have emphasized upon increasing the pace of vaccination in the poll bound states. All arrangements will be made to ensure that this election is absolutely COVID safe. I take this opportunity to welcome and call upon the voters of five states where elections are underway and urge them to participate in these elections as enthusiastically as they have always done. The voters are the true heroes and icons for the Election Commission of India. Your presence at the polling stations strengthens democracy and makes the country proud. I again extend my heartiest congratulations and best wishes to every citizen of the country on the occasion of National Voters Day. Jai Hind!